Hi, my name's Wendy Moore. I want to tell you about my new book. My last book, Wedlock, was about a uh, particularly bad marriage and divorce. This book is a natural progression. It's about a man who couldn't find the wife that he wanted to, and so he set out to create the perfect wife. Thomas Day was a, a classic 18th century eccentric. He was uh, independently wealthy, he was um, tall and relatively handsome, but he didn't like to wash his hair, he, he always wore scruffy plain clothes. Um, he liked, he was a radical, so he believed um, uh, in the anti-slavery campaign and he, was, uh, he supported American independence. But he had a very fixed notion of the life that he wanted to leave, lead and the person he wanted to lead it with. So he couldn't find this woman and this vision in 18th century society and so he decided he would have to educate her for himself. So in 1769, Thomas Day went to the Foundling Hospital in Shrewsbury and there he persuaded the officials that he should take a girl to become an apprentice to his married friend. So from a line of girls, he chose one who was uh, 12 years old. She was auburn-haired, brown-eyed, uh, apparently very pretty. And he took her back to London and began her education. And then a few weeks later, he went to the Foundling Hospital um, headquarters in London and chose a second girl. This girl was blonde-haired and blue-eyed by way of contrast. And he took her with to live with the other girl. He named the first girl Sabrina and the second girl Lucretia. He took the two girls to France initially, uh, but very quickly he decided that the younger girl wasn't going to be marriage material. And so he concentrated on Sabrina. And then he took her to live with him in Litchfield for a year, alone in a house, and continued her education. But at the same time, he subjected her to some strange and really quite sadistic trials. He um, would um, drop hot wax on her bare shoulders and arms and tell her not to cry out. He um, shot pistols at her skirts and told her she wasn't allowed to move. And he even threw her into the local lake, um, although she couldn't swim. So after a year, not surprisingly, she'd got rather fed up of this and she rebelled. He put her in a boarding school for three years and in the meantime he tried to find um, a wife by more conventional means. Um, that wasn't very successful. So after, after that time he went back to Sabrina and tried to um, reignite her education and was actually on the point of marrying her when some very trivial thing that she did upset him and he said goodbye to her forever. It's a, a true version of the Pygmalion myth. Thomas Day was a real Professor Higgins who thought he could shape a girl to become an ideal woman. Sabrina, his chosen girl, was essentially Eliza Doolittle. Um, it's a tale that's really as topical today as it was ever because all of us still believe somehow we, we want to find the perfect partner. But this story tells us really that it's not possible to find or to create somebody in a particular ideal. We should settle for somebody who matches us perfectly.